Hey guys, look here, back for some more Nino Kuni. Last time we did the Knight's Illusion quest and the Weapons quest for Surly and Happy or whatever their name is. Hurley, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this will probably be the final episode. I did a ton of grinding last few nights and uh, I got, let's see, species. No. Oh wait. Yeah, oh yeah, 249. So I need one more to get the final one, which is... Would be... Oh. Yeah, these two. So let's transform these. I'll do them all anyway. So I don't need a snapper. Familiarologist. Rewarded for taming 250 different species. Yeah. Let's evolve this to while uh, I'm at it. There's like, I don't know, 500? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that at all. Uh, it was already hard enough at a snipper. You know what though? I'll take a look at my creature compendium. So here are all the ones that I have. Oh cool, it goes through. So I individually wrote down every single <laughs> uh, familiar that I didn't have. And then uh, systematically uh, <laughs> caught all the ones I didn't have. Uh, but I was focused mainly on who already I had, and then the least amount of evolutions I could get. Anyway, the main reason I grinded it off all off camera was uh, <laughs> I wanted to finish this game before playing Black Myth Wukong, and it already came out a few days ago, so I went on a complete grind for this game. <laughs> And then after Black Myth Wukong, the new Ace Attorney game is coming out, so I gotta play that. Uh, well, it's not new, but the remake for the old game, old uh, investigation games, which I never got around to finishing because they were fan translations. Yeah. Okay, these are just monsters I defeated. Like after 300, it's just the non catchables and, and the golden ones. But I'll go through them anyway. I should have probably done this at the end of the episode, because I know there's a few more bosses I'm gonna get. But whatever, I'm here already. Zombies, and here are the golden ones, 36, 37, or 97. Wait, flutter by? I had this? It involved that. <laughs> Alright. 
Another achievement I need to do is the island. Why, that's why I'm here. There's two places I haven't been to. I think it's this one. Oh. Uh, for chests. Alright, so let me open this one, which is spring lock. Brinkman's badge. I don't think I have that. Stand back. I also got uh, I also got uh, Swain and Esther's. There's a dragon's tooth thing. <laughs> oh my god! I needed that. I farm for one of those for the item co or item grinding. Uh, yeah, I finished uh, Swain and Esther's weapons. I'll probably see it later. You eat dinner already? You forget again? It's dinner time, though. Long time in water, catch cold, I worry. She keeps walking around, so... Oh, visitor, enjoy and be quiet. You want press it, then I give. Press it for box. What? Ah, nice cold water, feel very good. Dad, dad, and granny, and mommy, and daddy. And brother and sister and me, all friends, all happy family. Father gone fishing, sea far away, but many fish. Sea far away, dangerous, many fish, but many monsters. Cool. And there's one more, I think. Over northwest, I think. I didn't get the achievement. Okay, did I miss one? Uh, oh wait, there's one near Tahiti. Oh, let's see. Uh, charge us. Wait, where is it? Breath. Oh, there's two chests up there. You not from here? Hello, welcome. Oh shit. Fairies. East Tide Cloak. Top drawer, man. Top drawer. No one swings a slapstick like you do. And then you say something stupid and then I slaps you in it. Like this. <laughs> Actually, more like this. How come you know so much about this other world then? This old girl's got some right tidy tales, I'm telling you. Hello, oh, dude, trippy boy. Long time no see, man. What do you reckon to this forest then? Pretty tidy, ain't it? Is that really story really true? Like, really? Oh yes, televisions! Box is telling of many things with many, many visions. This fairy not good with girl, not good at all. There's beautiful. You're ten times more lush than any girl from Tahiti. Mind you, there's only one girl there and that's my ma'am. Still, you've properly charmed me, you have. I've gone so weak at the knees, it's a miracle I'm still standing. So, got any plans tonight then? I know some cracking jokes I do, if you're interested, like. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Fairy Ground. This one should be the last force. I didn't even know this was an option. I mean, I would never try to land in one of the small islands, so. This one? Yep, got it. Globetrotter, awarded for setting foot in all secluded regions. There's that chest. Here. 
Oh, finally on it. Dragon Tusk. That's old. Green lock. Oh, flower. I think I already have one. Steer. Oh. Hmm. I don't know what he's trying to say, Mr. Trippy. Ah, but that's just it, man. He's not trying to say anything, is he? This fellow's by ears clearly taking a lifelong ascetic vow of silence, see? A vow? That's right, he doesn't need words to communicate. He's mastered an altogether deeper and more profounder mode of communication. Very spiritual, just imagine. Fa uh ha. I ta I talk. Oh happy I joy. For a long, long time nobody come here. Too long I forget. I forget how speaking. Oh Mr. Trippy, you know that stuff about a vow of Cracky, it's getting proper dark, Holly boy. Best we be off, we had. Come on now, chop chop. What? Alright. <laughs> that's done, that's two. I think I only need three more achievements, which is related to these quests, I think. Let's do the last quest where I get the ask points, or it's gold. Oh yeah, since I've been grinding, I think we're... Mall, mostly 99. Except, uh, Dino, who maxes out at 28, apparently. I was like, I reach max level. So, this is the best he gets, I guess. 676. Uh, maybe I could have maxed him out at the lower level. But, oh well. I wasted time trying to level this guy up. He, look how much experience he needs. 62,000. <laughs> Whatever. Let me, let me deposit these two. I don't need to, but... Might as well... Uh, grab a few guys to level up. Who needs Lomos? Oh yeah, the moth. I remember... Where did I get my... Where did my moth go? Oh. Do I need to You don't... I thought I had a moth. Oh yeah, right here! It's like these aren't in uh, numerical order. That's why I didn't even grab them. Okay, let's talk to this kid. Oh, are you again? You have decided to jump my crew, perhaps? Uh, not just yet. No, how oh, unfortunate, especially so, considering my latest find. Eh, what's that then? It's not treasure, is it? Or Scorpio? Oh. Har har, it is better than treasure. It is genuine treasure map. I happened to come across it while rearranging the governor's storeroom. When I showed it to him, he appeared certain that it was once property of legendary castaway Corsairs. Wow, are you sure it's real? Most assuredly, in luck, seven places have been marked upon it. They must be locations of hidden treasure. You know, do you not think so? Sure do, this is so neat, a real live treasure map. Ah, I was so sure you'd be interested. A suitable place for the future pirate king of justice, I think. Alas, Mother will not allow me to go and look for these fishers. It is dangerous, she claims. Of course it is, Mon. There's flipping loads of monsters out there. There's no way a midget like you would last five minutes, of course, being Lord High Lord of Fairies. It'd be fine, like... Really? You will investigate the locations marked on this map for me? Then please do so, I beg of you. The treasures must be found. The greatest treasure. A young boy in Castaway Cove has found a pirate's treasure map and is keen to investigate the locations marked on it. Offer to help investigate the locations on the map. Let's go. Har har! I felt sure you would agree. I'm sure you wish to commence your search right away, but this map is not without its problems. It's extremely old, you see, and it's stored in several places. Therefore, the exact locations of the treasures are not quite visible. But seven locations have been marked. It can be assumed that there are seven separate treasures, I think. Look, looks like it, man. I suppose we'll just have to search for it in a minute. Well, the legend of the Estuary Corsairs is very famous, I think. Everyone in town knows about it, most certainly. Perhaps you should ask local people if they have advice on where to commence your search. That sounds like a great idea. Gee, isn't it exciting, Mr. Trippy? Oh, no. 
Hi there. You old doll, any back as my Corsairs? Yes, of course. Mother tells me their tales every morning before I sleep. Last night she told me when they went to an island that was far away and found treasure there. Neat. Do you remember the name of the island? It's the island of mine. No, that's not it. It was island not mine. No, that's not no island of mine, perhaps? No island of mine, you say. Hold on, that name rings a bell. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you be able to tell us anything about Casper Corsairs? Anything at all? Ah, oh, if the treasures they found that you wish to hear about, perhaps? Well, many people know that shipwreck shore and reason of the ominous name. But not many know the Castaway Corsairs once ran aggressive there by themselves, or so the legend goes. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go take a look. Uh, do I actually get a map? Excuse me, sir. Do you know anything about Castaway Corsairs? We're interested in learning as much as we can about them. Oh, I'm sure. I know what you're interested in, young man. Treasure, ha ha ha. Well, the content of Automata is divided by a mountain range in the foothills, which is a steep incline known as Billy Goat's Bluff. Said that Castaway Corsairs left safety of their ship sealed these hills in search of treasure. Perhaps they rather fancied themselves as Port Time Mountain Banner, ha ha. Is it finally what these stones are for? I keep seeing. Oh, she? Or her? Excuse me, Bab, do you know anything about the Casway Corsairs? We heard there were all sorts of tales about them. Oh, yes, there are old tales indeed. I recall about them finding treasure island covered in birds. Now, what are they called? Swan Island? Oakley the Queen Isle? One of those, I'm certain. Okay. I know that place. No more. Let's go this way. Oh, uh, wait, no. This guy. What the? Why can't I t Oh, his head bubbles up. Nope. This there. We're wondering if you could tell us anything about Castaway Corsairs. Hmm, me? Surely I'm no expert. We recall a tale of how they found the treasure in the bar, the bar or something. The more coastal. I seem to remember the story saying they returned to moods most foul. Even though they had succeeded in finding the treasure they sought, strange. And let's claim these. Turn to arms. And ready to blow. Alright, I only have three more. Angel wings, those things are insanely painful to get. Oh, I have two more. Alright. Oh, excuse me, have you heard about the Gasway Corsairs? Oh, sir, naturally. There's no one in this town who has not, I am sure. The tales of their adventures have been popular by talk stories for generations. Wow, really? What you you tell this one? Well, there's about one they headed northwest, an island, a tiny, insanely cold island. Fish and our climate is quite different than their native Casaway Cove. They say it's gripped by a turtle winter. I've heard versions of the tale mention something called snow, a soft white substance that falls from the skies. Yep, I saw that. Excuse me, sir. Do you know anything about the gang of pirates who used to live in this town? Oh, you mean Casaway Corsairs, I think. As a child, nothing would excite me more than hearing tales of their adventures. My favorite was always the one which they went to Bungler's Bay west of here. Their captain nearly wet his end there, I believe. Okay. Let's go. Let me just fly around. There's one here, I think this is the closest one. Is it finally these rocks? Because I've been wondering... <laughs> Let me grab this like I usually do. Even though I don't need them anymore. Arangola! Gula! 
And is this it? It's this strange stone by here then. Some kind of writing on it too. Now, what does it say? Scavenging on the shipwreck shore. The tides have washed all sorts of things onto the shipwreck shore beach. As we landed, in fact, we saw a wrecked pirate ship had been lifted onto the sand. Upon closer inspection, it turned out to have been full of gunwales with treasure. These are the days about which every pirate dreams. Castaway Corsair. Oh shit, I gotta write this down. 3B. Okay. This must be the place is parked on the treasure map, huh? Yeah, I reckon, but never mind that, Ollie Boy. Look around. There's shipwrecks aplenty around here. Let's go and see if there's any leftover treasure to be had. Do I actually have to go to it? Wait, is is it just telling me to go to the treasures that I already know? I already checked this one. What was the last treasure? I haven't checked this side. Whatever. Uh... I don't think there's one here either. Oh, there was one here! Okay. I was like going crazy. I remember there was one near Atomic. This one. What's the stone by here then? Some kind of writing on it too now, what does this say? Treasure is no longer mine. It's quite rare for the captain to find the treasure we're looking for as soon as we land, but that's what's happened this time. His face was a real picture. I've never seen him look so proud of himself. I was happy that he found the treasure and all, but he didn't have to look quite so smug about it. Castaway Corsair. Uh, what is this? Two? Is that uh, UV? Must be one of the places marked for a treasure map, huh? Yeah, it looks that way. No, I could just imagine the old captain grinning like a Cheshire cat. Alright. I don't know why, I just checked this earlier. Oh shit, is it really... What's the stone by here then? Some kind of writing on it too? Now, what does it say? Booty of Billy Goat's Bluff. <laughs> Climbing the hills from the bay where we landed was a long hard slog, but at least the treasure was where it was supposed to be for once. Just can't wait to get back to sea. I start to feel sick if I spend too long on the dry land. Captain seems to be faring even worse. I've caught him rocking from side to side, muttering the sea. The sea more than once now. If we don't get back on the sh boat soon, I fear we'll have to carry him. This way, Corsair. Is that four? No. That's six. And... IJ. Must be a place is marked treasure map, huh? I thought I was surprised those pirate types would come to a, so far inland and search for treasure mine. Yeah. Grab your seed while man. Or not. Another monument! It is too, the words are all faded though. Can't make head nor tail of them. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, there's a boss fight. Uh, what's the stone by over here? Some kind of writing down it too? Now, what does it say? Discovery on Swat Island! Not only the Swat Island look like a bird, it's actually covered in the things of living happily alongside one another. And like it when Captain started digging for treasure, though huge flocks of them started pecking at him all at once. Probably thought it was after their eggs. I'll never forget the Captain trudging back to the ship, muttering about those blasted birds and roasting them all. This way, Corsair. For... that's L. Must be one of the places marked in treasure map, huh? 
probably quite, yeah, quite like this captain style, I gotta say. Let's fight this thing while we're here. Warbird. Come on, you guys. Deal. Esther actually does a lot of damage with her final weapon. So, so. That's it. Okay. Oh, also, I fixed the controller issue uh, since I switched controllers. Since I got a new controller. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> since I got a new controller. Uh, where is it? Oh, Nyx. Where's Nyx be gone? There. Since I got a new controller, I needed to do all those uh, setting, custom settings I did last time. Why did I mix when I needed to do? Oh, and everyone's on, uh... <laughs> everyone's on, um, don't do anything mode right now, because, uh... I'm like, let me switch. All over. Tactics. Okay. Give it your all. Give it your all. Give it your all. And press OK. Wait! Steal it? The damage I've seen is like 1900. But Percy and uh, Spooky, they do a ton of damage. So. It's a gift. <laughs> I thought about uh, raising another Dinoceros, having like a full team, and I don't really need it. Uh, Cloudy, finally. Let's uh, do. Cloudy falls into Roundhead or Thunderhead. Thunderhead looks cooler. Uh, they both look cool though. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna evolve the moth. Flutterby. Here, way too far. Here. What's this stone by here then? Some kind of writing on it, too? Now, what does it say? Tiny Tim's treasure. We managed to get our mitts on the treasure, but we suffered for it. Most of the crew were still wearing their swimwear from Costa White Cove and Kata awful golds. Miracle no one froze to death. We probably only survived because we wrapped ourselves in our beach towels. We come from here again, we're wearing the biggest, thickest, swollen clothes we can find. Castaway Corsair. One... One K. Kublai. Oh wait, does it say Kublai? Hold on. Oh shit. Yeah, it must be. Honestly, what kind of idiot takes to the high seas without swimming trunks, I ask you? Wait. Wait, I want to see what it said. Oh man. <laughs> I skipped out. And then there's one more... East, I think. Yeah, cause I, I would always farm this thing. Was this the fog drop or Angula? Yeah, fog drops. So what's this? What's this stone by here then? Some kind of writing on it too? Now what does it say? Treasure in the Barrens. Finding this treasure was no mean feat, I assure you. No matter what where we looked, or where we dug, we could find no trace of this blasted thing. Only after we reduced the entire coastline to an unsightly connection of holes and hillocks, did we finally find a little chest. With a single gold coin inside to say that the captain was furious would be an understatement. Corsair can... or guess what Corsair. And that would be 5A. Yeah, it does say Koopa. This must be what place of our tried to treasure map, huh? Sounds about right. One gold coin, eh? I'll be flipping got it. Uh, so we travel to Keswick Cove. Talk to the dude. 
No, yeah, right here. <laughs> Oops. I thought I was already here because I started here. What's the stone by here then? Some kind of writing on it too. What does it say? The bounty of Bungler's Bay. No sooner had we uncovered the buried treasure chest than the captain lost his balance on deck and fell into the sea, taking the chest and its contents with him. We managed to haul the captain aboard uninjured, but the chest sank to the bottom of the sea, and I think he's the only one telling us to watch our step. Guess what, Corsairs? Seven. Seven. Seven three. Okay. So, Kublai three. I suppose we wanted to play Spark Treasure, right? Looks like it cracky. I thought the captain was a goner there, Mon. Okay. I think that's the last one now. If I started there first, it would just say 73. <laughs> well, did you find a pirate treasure? Sorry, we did find a treasure. It seems Castaway Corsair already took it all. You see, the map doesn't show the places where the Castaway Corsair hid their treasure. It shows where they found it first found it all those years ago. Yeah, there's a big stone monument in all the places marked on the map, see, and each one tells the story of a treasure they found there. Can it be? Uh, I've been looking forward to covering the pirate treasure. That's not all, though. There was some other strange writing on the budget as well. Yeah, two Naskin letters on each one in it. Really? Some kind of clue, I'm sure. The letters were put together in the right order. Perhaps they reveal the location of the entire treasure hoard. Crikey, there's clever. Well, we wrote that down on Naskin we saw, so... What? Please show me. Want me to see what it says? So the writing says... Kublai 3. Holy heck, I can't make head nor the tails of that mon. Well, I guess we just have to decode it all. Please, let me know when you've done so, and I shall wait for you here. Sit. Ooh. Fly. Three. Kublai Khan the third. Kublai. Is he known to you? Sure is. Must have heard Kublai King of the Sky Pirates, right? I wonder if they're related. I'd bet my bottom gilder on it, only boy. Core, getting proper interesting this is. I reckon we should pay the old Kublai visit to see what next of it. Alright. Down, right, down. <laughs> Alright, where the hell are you? Let's face him so he doesn't look so cool. Ahoy there, lad. How are the preparation for the final battle? Oh, uh, I, uh, they're fine. There's something I wanted to ask you, Blue. Captain Kublai. I'll split it out, then. There's nowhere playing coy with me. You ever hear somebody called Kublai Khan III? Yeah, uh, how come you heard that name? So you heard of him? Oh, of course I heard of him. He was the father of my father's fathers. What business do you have with the old dog? A boy gave us a prior treasure map at Kustawai Cove. And when we followed it, found all these monuments and the letter cave carved in them spelled out Kublai Three. That's so, makes sense, I suppose. Legend has it the third to bear the name of Kublai Khan was kept in a band of bloodthirsty pirate scoundrels. His name was known and feared in this day, but it was many an age now. Wow, he so he was a real life pirate legend, huh? More than that, a hero. Tale tells that no matter how much he plundered, he could spend it all in an instant. Uh, there doesn't sound very heroic. Sounds flipping idiotic, if you ask me. Ah, <laughs> uh, you may be right there. The legend also speaks of treasure that was worth more to him than any other. We do? Gee, do you think it really could have existed? Aye, lad, I know little of it, but they say he carried it with him to his dying day. Crikey, must have been one tidy treasure for a legendary pirate. Not to want to let it go. Say so he finally hid it away in the depths of a forest on an island somewhere. An island inhospitable. No rich, no ship could reach it. But man, gotta find it. Come, Molly boy. It's treasure hunting time. You know, I sure hope we can find it. You, you best set aside treasure. My share of the spoils, or I'll have you leaving guts for garters. Ha <laughs> Man, I can't wait to be done with Ollie's voice. I wish I never picked that for his voice. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're here. What? It respawned? What the hell? Oh, because of the pipe. It's another monument. It is, too. 
The words on it are all faded, though. I can't make head nor tail of it. Thinks, do you think something to do with Kublai's great 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 grandfather's most magical treasure that he told us about? Must be, hey, if we use magic, we could probably make so we could read the words, huh? Go! Uh, rejuvenate. Huh? You know, the writing's just like new! Nice work, Ollie Boy, then. Let's have a read, shall we? The greatest treasure of all. They say that life is an adventure, and so it is proof for us breathing terrible storms and giant waves. We have explored every corner of this wondrous world. We've seen such sights as no man could imagine. Felt cold that chilled the blood, and heat that singed the skin. We amassed countless treasures and spent just as many bested countless foes and paid victories heavy price. But finally our journey is at an end. After all this time and all this traveling, I have discovered the greatest treasure of all. <laughs> a life spent with friends. To this no worldly wealth can compare. As a tribute to the times my friends and I shared, I have made records of my dearest memories and placed them around the world we explored together. I hope that one day another adventurer will find them and will discover the value of companionship on one's journey. Your lies Kublai Khan, the third of that name, captain of the indomitable spirit. So it's a grave, is it? I guess so. Gee, it sounds like Kublai's great, great, great grandfather had a fun life. So, uh, that time you spend with your friends is the greatest treasure in the whole world. It's a bit pretentious, is it? Huh, well, I kind of get what he's saying, though. I mean, my tra memories of traveling around this world with you guys, they're the best I have. Yeah, but, uh, Ollie Boy, that's, uh, it's, uh, really, uh, um, cracky, it's flippin' boring by Aaron. <laughs> Let's go back to Guess Go, shall we? Uh, so I should tell Ublai that, uh, his share is the friends we <laughs> made along the way. Ah, oh, you finally returned! You have something to report, perhaps? Oh, we sure do. Kublai Khan III was our friend Kublai's great 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 grandfather, and he was the captain of the Castaway Corsairs. Arr, I thought as much. Truly, I did. So, uh, Kublai sent us off to find the, what the old fellow left behind, see? The greatest treasure of all in it. Har har, and what did you find? You must tell me at once. Well, it's probably not what you were expecting. What? Surely not another puzzle? Nah, man. It was old Kublai Khan's grave, innit? His grave? Uh huh, but it was a message too. After all this time of traveling, I've discovered the greatest treasure of all. I've spent with friends. Proper wise words from the old sea dog in it there. Memories of good times and your buddies are way more precious than boring old treasure like. Hold on, no, no flipping in it. <laughs> and what a load of old rubbish. The pirate wants his head looking at. See, so there never was any treasure to be found. But Kublai III's words have only made me more determined to have my own adventures with friends, of course. Hey, that's great. We'll be ready for you and your friends. Arr, thank you. Our search for treasure was not successful. Tales you brought back with you gave me untold pleasure. Back, please allow me to give you this in exchange for all the excitement you have brought into my life. To evil eyes. Oh shit, so good. Uh, the greatest treasure, a young boy in Castle Cove has found a pirate's treasure map and is keen to investigating the locations marked on it. Alright. Oh? Huh? Yeah! <laughs> 10 plus another 5 is a bonus. Oh, and please, take these also. I found them in the governor's storeroom near the place where I discovered the map. May they help you manufacture the items and weapons. Yeah. Formula. Primordial sword. Damn. Well, I don't have any colored stones. What? I don't have a Skyfall sword? Oh, okay, it's equipped. <laughs> I was wondering. Planet Splitter. Is this an axe? Oh, it's a sword. I'm dumb. <laughs> I don't need to waste my evil eye- or glowstones on this. Long shank. Prize wizard warrior. Evil eyes. Okay, it's a spear. 
Omni Seal. Uh, it protects from all kinds of resistance to all attack types. That's pretty good. <laughs> but it has five angel wings, which is the most painful to get. Alright. I think this is it. We're almost done. Now we just need to do that bounty. Mm, yeah, let's see. Jack, amend all. Superhero awarded for collecting all merit awards. Yeah. Warbird of Prey. Angel Wings, hell yeah. Okay. Deep Dark Wood and Ding Dong Well. Alright. Alright, I'll fast forward to there. Alright, there's so many, uh, guys around here that I don't have. <laughs> totally forgot about this place when I was grinding for monsters. Holy shit! No! Oh my god. <laughs> That's annoying. That's really annoying. That's why I have them auto-attack off. But, uh, I don't need them anymore. But those gold guys are hard to get. <laughs> Alright, let's fight the... Uh, or Guardian again. What does our plea thing is again, is it? Well, we both know what'll happen, but you can't bring yourself to leave it. Oh, hey, okay. I'll be Alley Boy. Hey, let's go. Look for it, are you? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. You look so much cooler. Again, is it? Well, we both know what'll happen. I um, have to please just get up. Why? <laughs> but I suppose we can't just walk away and leave it. We'll be Ollie Boy. Let's go. Up for it, are you? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Ah, <laughs> degree done. Bye. 
the solutions. Alright. Um. Lame. Would you believe it? And a twist in the tail. Is there more? Oh, I probably need to go to uh, the forest. Let's go back to the door. Alright, creepy dude. Oliver, a new rift has been formed. Would you like to chance and seal it up for me? Oh dear, you look like rather confused. Surely you've worked out what the rifts are by now. Why, you've even seen one for yourself? What? Let's go back to the bounty shop, see if, uh, let's try again. Oh, there's more? <laughs> Holy shit. Stomach trouble in mummy's tummy. Yes, I'm here already. Corpus Palace, Hamlin, Atomina. Okay. Tombstone Trail. Oh my god, again? Everything fire again. Northern Skull Mountain. Vault of Tears. Okay. Walking the plank. Near a broken crown. Loyal Howl, Glittering Grotto, of Darkness, and the Miasma Marshes. Oh, I can go back to the Miasma Marshes again. Woo! Alright, boss rush. I'm gonna fast forward to every boss. I'm dumb. I actually have to accept these. <laughs> I went to the first one and it wasn't there. Alright, now let's go. Let's see how much more damage this does compared to the other bosses. Another flipping ref mod here in Mummy's tummy. Hang on a minute, she didn't... She couldn't have. She only blinking at the thing, didn't she? I'll be having words with her about this, but let's have a look in the first orb, shall we? Okay. Right, you are, Ali boy. Good feeling about this one. Control steers? Now that's a good item. Can I actually use the new unleashes? Like, let's use Woodfall. Storm. Interrupt. <laughs> it's kind of difficult. Better luck next time. All right. Let's evolve. Flutter by. Midnight 
midday. Uh, midnight sounds cool. What's above mighty? Golden mighty. Alright, second fight. Let's go. Oh my god, not again. How many of these things are there? Oh, Blicken Palace and all. Who'd have thought it? But there aren't any guards because they're all off getting ready to give the White Witch what for and it means it's up to us, Ollie Boy. Don't go rushing into anything, Ollie Boy. I've a bad feeling about this and my feelings ain't often wrong. Marco Rosso. Oh, why was that a double? It's kind of material. It's very material. I'm sure See how much damage this does. I guess there's a even better. Damn. Wonder if it's a even better item, but <laughs> we're almost at the end of the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, whatever. 
Alright, this was such a long walk. Not uh, over here. Oh, niggers, it's one of them rift thingies. Just what we flippin' need. But there's a uh, why we're gone all weird around by here. Well, we'll just bite the bullet and sort it out in it. So we're gonna do the sort of sooner we can get out of this flippin' place. Let's go. Follow boy. I got a bad feeling right in my lantern. Oh man. Oh, okay. It's not as cool as the last one. Or the original version. And the Mabra Kadabra. Kadabra. Boulder's not that good. It get cancelled. But it still does a ton of damage. one's quick. <laughs> uh, the color boy by Rips. I wish they'd give it a flippin' rest. Famous for my patience, me, but even Lord High Lord of the Fairies has his limits, and these things are getting on my wick. If good mind to leave them to it. Mr. Trevi shouldn't say things like that. We've got to do something. All right, man, keep your hair on. I was only joking at it. Just a little fairy gag, like up for another scrap, are you? Yep. Careful, all boy. I got a bad feeling about this. We have that for everyone. Oh shit, I forgot about the dragon. Looks way cooler. But gold dragons are supposed to be good. Angel wings, yeah. Oh, I didn't heal. battle yet, because I did not feel because <laughs> I just teleported here. Okay, let's see what's the damage behind. That's it.
a Nexus Vault of Tears, which has a heal on the way, <laughs> so shouldn't be as bad. Snake's name again? Uh, Jed uh, Abed. <laughs> uh, I should have known. Gone. Another rift. It's probably why the monsters around by here have been so vicious in it. Shall we have a closer look, Ollie boy? Yep. Watch yourself, Ollie boy. I got a funny feeling on the ledger. <laughs> you always do. Mahen. Okay. That's a different thing. And he looks cooler. Moon drop, that's useless. Accuracy should have went for attack all the way. All the way here. No matter how many of these flipping things we patch up, there's always seems to be another one. I'm getting sick of the sight of a mon. Still suppose we can't just walk away from it like Oh you reckon all that boy? Yup. Hold on tight then. I reckon we're in for a right tidy fight this time. I did not heal again. <laughs> Doubling again now. Trying to heal off the tanks. Thank <laughs> you. 
still miss a lot. Pick this one because he said Mikey's here. <laughs> Alright. Working with uh, Drongo. <laughs> I don't have MP. Let's go. I used Veil because I didn't want to fight anything here ever again. <laughs> ah, not another ruddy rift. What the heck's going on? I had to wait up here with the flipping things I have on. Doing my head in there. My olive boy, don't hang about. Sort this thing out, will ya? Yep. Careful, now, olive boy. I got a feeling I got in my lantern when something's proper nasty's coming. Hey, Ranga, let's go. Hey, you look so cool. Borealis. Shit, no it's not. I got it. I got it. But wait. What? He survived? So, see if I could finally go back there. What's it all? Do the gold versions count as new entries? I don't even know. Okay, 57. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. Because <laughs> uh, I started out with 49. Plus 2, 3, yeah. Should be around 7. Been trying to get in so I could get the uh, final chest. Holy shit! That's <laughs> face. Scared the shit out of me. Oliver, we meet again. I highly recommend that you continue along this path. Something rather interesting may well await you. What's that? The fog has cleared over the marshes, uh, marshes, you say? Can that truly be true, I wonder? Well, there's only one way to find out. Hey, now I could get the ember stuff. Alright, let me get the chest on the way. Spring lock. Let's see what's here. Cool night armor. I don't know if I showed that already or not, but... Uh, oh, it's all the way to the end. Alright. Alright, you know who will be lurking by here? I could see this coming a blooming mile off. Hey, beep. Catch us right away, can we? Yep. Look out, boy, here it comes. This guy. What's his name? My heart. Swing! Allow me! Roger. Here 
one again. Spooky and what can I say? Uh, person. It's a gift. No. At least we have a good team. Yeah, I think that's the last one, but I want to go over here and get the other chest. So, I'll fast forward to that. Never mind, I can't even get in here. Let me just check if there's any other quests here. Okay, conductor still. Uh, claim. Stomach trouble. Full hog. Oh shit, the words are completing 40 different bounty hunts. Not even all of them, they're just 40. Losing your wick. Breathing fire again. Getting a skin. Okay, the plank. Oil howl. Heart of darkness. Hey, okay, looks like we're done. Let them know, ain't it? Something like that. <laughs> I skipped through. Uh, let's see, does anyone have better items? Oh, that's why he's so strong. He has the best sword. I haven't upgraded this. Wait, let me give it to Zongo because he's more of a magic attacker. At 387. And he's tanky too. What the hell? Lullaby Lance. What am I doing? Why did I miss all that stuff? Holy shit! Pretty parasols are really good shield. What the hell? Oh, it lowers your attack, but damn. Or defense, I mean. But magic, magic attack, everything. And it adds all these resistances. You know what? I'm taking it. You too, you get the parasol. What the magic cloak? Can't believe I'm doing all this, uh... Oh shit, soldier schmuck. Oh wait, that gives attack, I thought it was magic attack. I'd rather have that magic attack that escapes. Yeah, same here. Necromancer. And studs. Oh yeah, soldier schmuck. <laughs> they should get the shoulder smock too. Okay, let me travel to Iron Weaver. Grab another one of those lullaby staffs. Of course, I'm buying this. Uh... Oh shit! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, of course, I bought a bunch of these staffs when I really don't need to anymore. I think that was all. <laughs> all the fights. Wait, no, excuse. Yeah. Damn. Alright, let's go to the conductor. You're doing a great job sealing the wrist, Oliver. Now, the next rift was one which you have a very special connection. What? There's more? Uh, okay, never mind. I guess there's more. 
already two hours, but I'm doing a lot of cuts, so hopefully not too long. It's the last episode, so whatever. <laughs> Alright, Reckless Soldier. Nevermore. Uh, my asthma marishes. Find out. Okay, that's where I was trying to go. You there. Holy shit. Oh, that scared me. Oh, I love how we meet again. What's you say? You're wondering why this lake has re returned to normal? Why this isn't the same lake at all? And nor is the castle that lies beyond it. Look puzzled and maybe a little befuddled. More than a bit bemused. Well, I recommend that you take a look for yourself. Do I really have to walk through this again? Well, see you there. Okay, I somehow missed this chest. <laughs> a blue chest, not a, any regular chest. <laughs> what the heck? I'm done. I already got the purple chest. What the hell? So the purple chest, well, I thought it was a blue chest, I guess? <laughs> Whatever. Alright, let's fight Shadar. I wonder what his name will be. Since there was a cutscene, let's hang out in the, the seat. Oh. There's another one that makes 14 by my count. Four flipping, <laughs> four flipping teen. The miasma marshes and nevermore are back to their horrible old souls and all. What the heck's going on? I don't know, but I don't know. What if that we could run away from this? Let's go. Look out, my boy. This is it gonna be like three phases? Holy shit! Wait. Step aside. Yeah, no. Okay, the last phase then. Oh, sweet. Can I see him with their evil eye, please? Get a load of this. Here. that dialogue again. Since we had Shadar, I'm guessing there's gonna be one more for the White Witch. This time, it's time already. There's only one rift remaining. It's time to face that which you have faced before. Yep. And there's only 14. Welcome to Solutions. Loyal Queen. One of the Ara Memoria. New Black Orbis materialized and it looks more ominous than before. Must be investigated soon. 
Okay, this is a Nazca. Oh, that's way easier to get to <laughs> than the White Castle. Plus, when he said we've done 14, 15 is a nice number to end on. So. Oh, is it 16? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. Eckers, this doesn't look good, Ollie boy. Oh, huh? what's the matter, Mr. Creepy? I don't know exactly, just got a bad feeling and all. Tingle on the old lantern, like. That one's different from those other rifts, I'm telling you. There's something nasty lurking in there. Proper nasty. We're in for a battle and a half, and I ain't the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, which I am anyway. What's the plan, Ollie boy? Let's go. Uh, I guess we fight. We have to do something. There's Brave, you are a nice one, Lolly boy. You've got up some flippin' bottle. You have. And again, you are the savior of our world. Now watch yourself, here it comes. With the very loud no. So the Archangel. Let's see what we get. <laughs> healthy
Can't get it under control. Or not. Kill me, please. Not good. Leave it to me. <laughs> I just had to say it. Uh, Dixie. Yeah, might as well use this. Let's do Electron Go. Yeah. But just in case, I'll switch with the golden view. Golden Hurley. Uh... I skipped that again. All right, there's one more secret battle. Congratulations, Oliver. All the rifts have been sealed. Of course, they have one. Only boy eats monsters like that for breakfast. But those monsters, in them before, hadn't you? Ah, uh, but they really are not the same as the ones you fought before. Truth be told, they're not even of this world. Just why they've attracted the attention of the Guardian of the Worlds. Guardian of Worlds? He's the one who controls this world, and your world, and every world in fact. There are monsters from another world turning up in this, in this one. Well, he's not going to turn a blind eye to that. That's why I kept this door shut, you see. I didn't want him to get involved. But the Guardian of Worlds is beyond this door. That's right. This is the door to the Grand Confluence, where all worlds meet and souls walk together. It's also home to the recently awoken Guardian of Worlds. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, got that. So if this Guardian of Worlds fellow is woken up, what will happen exactly? Oh no, 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 it's not that. Nothing bad will happen. The Guardian of the Worlds he controls are one and the same, you see. Hang on a minute. Uh, what lies behind the door exists only to satisfy your curiosity. I very much doubt your actions in there will have any consequences, although they might. As might doing nothing. I just don't know. 
Suppose the question is over. Are you curious? You are. I'll open the door for you. Oh, sure. Questions? Are you curious? Okay. <laughs> I guess there's uh one more. dangerous but vulnerable too. Give a go on give him a whack. annoying balls flying around, zapping me, we did it. interrupting my attacks. Oh, King of the World, order for defeating the Golden Guardian of the Worlds. Nice. Here's the final evolution. Sure. Areas completed. Nice. On the floor has is that the ceiling.
Wonderful, Alva. You are, really are the savior. But the guardian, we made him disappear. No need to worry. As I told you, the guardian of worlds is the world itself. They are one and the same. Nothing you could do could ever make it disappear. Likewise, nothing it can do could ever do the same to you. I just have not got a single clue what's going on here. I don't even know what we fought the thing in the first place. I don't know why, but I thought you said you were curious, and now your curiosity is sated. Isn't that enough? You are the savior, blessed with the most precious virtue of all. Ah, huh? what do you mean? Restored numerous virtues to people's hearts. Enthusiasm, kindness, courage, restraint, belief, confidence, love, ambition, even humor. All of these are indispensable, but they are not enough to save the world. Something else is required. And you have it, it glows within your heart. Deep, warm glow that... I bring Akmon! Will you just get to the point? True. Oh, I'm patient, I see. Very well. The virtue required to save the world is... Curiosity. Eh. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly. What? Oh. Why? Where? Curiosity is the virtue that compels one to seek answers. To explore the boundaries of one's own world. Discover the next. Uh, I think I understand. Start it this journey because I wanted to save my mom, but because I wanted to see her again. But even though I couldn't do that, I just being here, seeing all the new things, and meeting all these great people, it's really been something. I mean, sure, it's been tough at times, but and, and I felt sad, but yes, sure has been an awful lot of fun. Correct. That is the answer I was waiting for. But, you know, your adventure isn't over yet. There's still something you need to do, isn't there? Yes, there is. But you don't need to do it right now. No, I prepared a little treat for you. Instead, seeing as you've made it this far, go ahead and open the next door. Okay. Let's see you. Another fight. Alright, let me, uh, heal. I'll just use these. Oh, man. What's it this time? Holy shit! Is this? You're a flippin' joke, Amon. Walker Phil? Hey, that conductor over by there. Let's get after him and find out what's going on. What the? So, this is so weird. <laughs> a kid chasing after a creepy looking dude in a bony head. Oh no, we're gonna drive? This ain't the motor villain we know and love, man. Something funny going on here. Are we dreaming or something? Dreaming? Most well, certainly not. This is the world is as real as any other. Just a little different from the ones you visited. This motorville is different from my motorville? Aha, uh -huh, exactly right, Oliver. Now come with me, I'll show you around. Uh oh. What do you think of this world then, Oliver? Well, it sure is different. I mean, I know all the people, but there's something about them that's not quite the same. Uh, didn't your fairy friend tell you? There are any number of parallel worlds out there. The world is world and so on. An infinite number. Come on, Ollie boy. That was one of the first things I said to you, Mon. Don't tell me you weren't listening. I totally forgot. Oh, I didn't realize you were such an expert, little fairy. I must have misheard you when you said you thought you were dreaming. Well, never mind. On with the show. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's funny. Wonder if I got him stuck for the full run time. What would have happened? Time for a moment's respite. I think. Well, tell me, Oliver. Are you getting used to this world? Yeah, I just... Do I exist here? No one seems to know who I am. <laughs> How adorable. Of course you don't exist here, in this world. You were never born. Huh? Oh, I tell you all about it very soon, but now it's time for... to carry on with the tour. Oh, was I supposed to talk to everyone? <laughs> Rusty such a stand-up guy, and friendly too. Whenever his folks drop their cars off, they always smile for them. Is this about the... Yeah, let's talk about a new car! I remember that. <laughs> Automobiles... Yeah, that sounds familiar. I don't know why I remember it, but I do. Mm -hmm. 
Wait. Car, fancy new pedal, foreign mate, huh? Uh, lunch break, yep. Cheese. And. Yeah. So, why was I never part of this world, Mr. Conductor? Well, when your soulmate severed the connection between you, you were cast adrift in the space between worlds. That's where you were when your mother saved you. When I say your mother, I mean the great sage, of course. The one with all the spells. There are worlds where this did not happen. Worlds where you were not saved. Worlds where you were not born. And this is one of them. A world where you weren't born, eh? Crikey. So, uh, why do you bring me to this world, Mr. Conductor? Haha, <laughs> you'll see. You'll soon see. There's a very special shop we need to visit first. I'm sure you know which one I mean. Watch, it's gonna be an ambush. You're gonna fight me. Oh <laughs> shit, scared me. <laughs> I just finished the chores and now I'm going to park to the play ball with my friends. You wanna come with us? I'm pitching. Please, it's nearly time for one's afternoon's respite. One must not be disturbed. <laughs> ah, Oliver, good to see you again. Now you've had your chance to look around. I'd be very interested to know what you think of this world. Well, it's sort of goofy and there's a ton of strange stuff going on, but it's kind of fun too. Fun in this place, hmm. Been to places that were less fun, I suppose. Very oh, well, thank you for your kind words. Glad we have your seal of approval. Uh, wait. Is this your world then? That's right, this is my world, probably. Probably? Remember when I said, don't you, about how you were never born in this world? It's a world you weren't saved by your mother. You remained a floating soul. But I found a place where all floating souls end up. So I decided to go and see you in the other world. That's when I opened the door. So what uh, does this mean? That's right, I am you in this world. I am the you that was never saved by your mother. See? You, I flippin' don't. This is getting proper weird, this is. Unlike me, you knew your mother. But even you couldn't save her in the end. Still, you had a wonderful adventure. Quite jealous, I must say. Sir Doctor? Uh, don't look so glum, Oliver. It really doesn't suit you. Now, I know I've already taken up so, too much of your time. There's one more thing I'd like to show you. After all you've been through, the least I could do is make your dream come true. I do believe your adventure is about to start anew. Please open the final door. Is this it? Oh. Hey! Ollie! Well? Over here! What? Huh? That was his voice. Good thing you found me. Guess what? She's finally ready. You mean? What else would it be, dum dum? Jeepers! Can he really mean? So Phil was the guy. Sorry, I kept you waiting, Ollie. Though, y you mean you built this? Sure, I did. Listen to that engine purr. Come on, Ollie. You're on the driving seat. I'm in the driving seat? Whoa. Oh shit. Ah! Holy shit. Wow, we're back in your world, Mr. Trippy. Look, Ollie boy, someone stuck a letter by a car under here. Under a viper, see? A letter? Dearest Oliva, I trust you are well. I wanted you to know how grateful I am. Were you coming to see my world? By way of thanks, I've decided to make an old dream of yours come true. I present you the Phil Mobile 2000. Sure, you can't wait to get behind the wheel, so here's what you need to know. You steer with L, and that's about it. You say you'll find a little different in the other modes of transport you use, but sure you'll pick it up in no time at all. Whenever you want to take it for spin, use the Phil Mobile key, key or press down. And whenever you want to get up, per se. Now it's time for you to hit the open road, drive safe, your friend, the conductor. Holy shit. Oh, how did this fit this car or our car? You're in a new reward, film movie wiki. Holy shit. Conductor. The conductor is in the forest of the south of King of the Law and it's something important to tell Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> this is so cool. I think that's it.
one, eleven, one. What? Okay. Whew. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three. Six, 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 six. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Control is crazy. Oh. Alright, let's go to Berry Grand. Oh no. Actually I wanna go through here. Man, this is so much this is so nice. Can I go through Oh that sucks! <laughs> I'm gonna talk to the conductor one more time. Just in case there's something I missed. Alright guys, I just uh, checked. There's no new quests or anything. So I think I'll edit it here and next time uh, let me know what you want to see. Anyway, I'll probably focus on uh, Persona 5 as I mentioned earlier and after I beat that I'll probably try Persona 3 maybe. I don't know if I want to play it on my own or just do a let's play also. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!